Come on. How are you guys? You can sit down. I'm gonna do some comedy. You don't have to stand for that. I can feel like the rock star. I'm not gonna sing Casey and JoJo's All My Life. He's oh, fucking gone. All right. How are you guys? Good crew so far? Two blockhead fashion. This is a beautiful shit show yet again. I miss it though. I came last year and I saw a lot. I miss it. I miss the camaraderie you guys have, the energy. I miss uh, whatever that shit is they call shampoo in the cabin. <laughs> that weird banana pudding jizzy shit. What is that? It's not shampoo. I'm like, oh, I'm taking a jizz shot. What is that? It's. Maybe Han knows the answer. What is it? KY. It's KY jelly? <laughs> oh, that's fucking disgusting. Why would you do that? <laughs> Some of the conversations I get to be a part of on this boat are truly unique. A 67 year old woman told me last night at like 4 a.m. that she wants to fuck Donnie Wahlberg and she'll stop at nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, get on that bitch, so what? Uh, who doesn't? Yeah. 67 years old. And here's how she told me she goes, if you show me where he's staying, I'll fuck him. <laughs> I was like, why are you saying that like you fucking him is what I get out of this deal? I'm <laughs> fine, either way. Show me where you stand, I'm fucking for you. You know, you know you want to get fucked, I'll do it for you. She's so sweet about it. I went to the safety, uh, you know, the safety meeting for the first time. I slept through it last year, and I was like, I should go to it this year. It's, a, it's mandatory, and they were knocking on my door a lot, and they came in, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll just go to this shit, and it was too confusing. It's like, but so much information. You can't inundate us with that many facts. They were like, if you're on Muster H, Go to station three, seven, or nine, and get on my boat twelve on level six. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's too much information. <laughs> I can't follow that. Just say if the boat goes down, fucking good luck. You know, that's just that'll make me feel just as safe. Because then at least I know it's on me. <laughs> that's been as crazy as last year, though. I've only seen six people fall on the stairs. Hoping for more, but you know, we got one more night, so drink up. Make it a memorable night, life your life, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that happened last year. I have seen uh, a girl uh, sitting on the hallway floor, drunk, eating a sandwich, singing, This is how they do it. She's singing to the sandwich. This is how they do it. This is how they do it. I watched her do that for 20 minutes, so no Just kind of like blur to the blur, like, oh my god, this is so great. Nobody's around. Solo concert. This is na 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 the girls aren't total shit shows though. Here, here's why I always think the girls have more uh, tolerance and respect for booze in your intake. Like dudes will drink whatever. You girls have limits. Every girl in here has one drink. She just doesn't do it anymore, right? It's usually a phase. You like to talk about it. Like it just fucked with your world too much, so you don't do it anymore, but you love to talk about it. Like I just can't do, I can't do vodka anymore. Thank you so much. I, just, uh, I wish I could. That's the old thing. That's the old Kimberly I like to wave to every now and then. She was a lot of fun. I just don't trust myself on that time. That's what it is. I don't like who I am on that. I don't like that. I said that version of myself in public. But ten years ago, I was, I was a lot of fun. You, I, I'd look it off the floor if I could get to it. I was really, I loved it so much. Marissa remembers. Remember Cabo and all the but don't say anything. She remembers what I did in Cabo. I really, I took it up a notch. Just because every drink has a specific behavior for me. That's why it's tough to gauge in public. That's why it's tough to gauge. Like, you don't make me horny. <laughs> It does, it does. I, I'm guilty. It's a Jaeger makes me violent. <laughs> oh my god, you put them together and you know, look out! <laughs> oh my god, last year I fucked the guy and stole his boat, so I just want to have a water. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Greatest crowd of all time. Dudes, dudes get more clever though. We have like amazing drunk logic. You know what that is? When you get so much booze inside your system, your brain conjures up ideas that you wouldn't think of sober. That's one of the benefits of seeing people with drinking problems. I, I used to have a roommate who drank so much on New Year's last year, he got so fucked up at the end of the night, he tried to open the front door to his apartment by pressing his iPhone on the door. <laughs> he drank so much tequila, he thought he came into the future. That's a lot of booze. 
And normally I laugh at that type of behavior, but he's Asian, so I was like, that's not totally impossible for you to fat me to do that, baby. Like, yeah, Asians are known for being well ahead of times, technologically speaking. So when you see an Asian dude try to open a door by pressing a phone on we're all standing behind him like, whoa, is that something we can fucking do now? Is that... <laughs> Should I get the update? What are you hiding from us? <laughs> <laughs>